G'day mate, I'm Ali here with some more Rapella Fella and let's just get into it. We've got some prisoners to hopefully free an RAEF trade to, uh, oh, I don't know what we're gonna do on it, but <laughs> let's do it. But yeah, we got a sleeping wake those guys. guys there. Let's just, I think there's a way to run. I think if you hold shift, oh, I don't know how I didn't try that in the last part. But yeah, let's They're look mugs. around. I don't need them. Ooh, we got people alive over there. Some ceramic mugs. Ceramic some ceramic mug. I need keys. Not We're gonna find those keys. Full of kitchen utensils. It's Let's garbage. garbage. Not sure I need it's that. It's garbage. Can't think of a reason to touch that those. Can we look in the fridge. Come back later. Lock. Add an a medic to the drink. Are we gonna knock these guys out? Okay, come back later. Uh, oh, are they sleeping too? Oh, good. I really don't want to wake them. Yes. Yeah, a speaker or an intercom. Looks like you can communicate through it. There's the flag. I guess it's a power outlet. It's unlike no. one I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at that weird outlet. Is that Russian or Australian? And I, I would assume our main character here <laughs> knows what an Australian outlet looks like. Looks like they're drinking they're some vodka. Hope they stay Passed out. Way. Yeah, they're all asleep. Oh, we can add maybe some to their drink. Dirty drain. old ciggy butts. Oh, Seems like he's butts. a tea drinker. Yeah, that's a, oh, like the oh, oh, Yes. It's oh. mine now. Empty bottle. What's this? Uh, train manifest. Good thing it's in English. Uh, Clifftown L Heights. Manifest for train. CC14. Supply delivery. Departure time 2000. Inspect cargo. Inspect crew. Estimated arrival at L Heights at 2120. Okay, that's where we're headed now, right? Unload SPG and munitions. Transfer captives. Train terminates. <laughs> what? Don't okay. want to wake those guys. No, we don't. It should remain closed. Okay, back to the fridge. We got an empty bottle. Maybe we can mix it up a nice little cocktail. Or not. We got lockpicks now. Okay, let's look around. Let's be a little more Looks thorough. Like Click a sink. everything. Yeah, a that is a sink. A shutter. <gasps> oh, okay. I've already forgotten how to do this. I think you just pull it ahead when it's up. Yeah, it's extremely easy. And then do you have to go back? Ah, gotta try again. Oh, okay, it failed. I might not understand how lockpicking works in this game. Well, that sounded like a click, yeah? Bugger, I snapped it. Ooh. I might have to reload. This might be a... Oh, and then you have to... Ah, oh, shit. I snapped it. Hang on. I can't be hang on, hang on. Moment. Yeah, I'm reloading. I don't care. I don't want to waste all my lockpicks. Thankfully, we didn't discover anything worthwhile. <laughs> Listen to a run. I love it. <laughs> Sorry about that noise. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Oh, ooh, what do we got in here? Deserters and a skill. Hang on. Oh, oh my god, what am I doing? Is that a tape? Oh, collectible. Awesome. This is a reminder to all personnel to keep an eye out for deserters and escapees. Our rails run in parallel to many of the roads and paths throughout the state. It's not uncommon to see wanderers travel in these areas. If you sight any individuals on your travels, be sure to stop the train to question them briefly. <laughs> you can start with a simple question, which is to ask if they know their current location. Every road sign is coded with a sector number to confuse fugitives unfamiliar with each territory. If the individual does not know the correct sector name corresponding to the number, you are authorized to take them into custody. Escort Damn. any and all captured individuals to your destination, where Dude. an MSS agent will examine them further. It Talk is your duty guys. to be watchful. Yeah, Хорошего whatever. Дня. Huh? Well, I don't like the sound of that. Oh. Mine what now. is that thing? Bloody rip -a grip <laughs> Looks like it's meant to detonate a bomb or something. You don't want to take any of that ammo guy yet? Alright, fella. Ooh, ooh, what about that? That looks like tape. That could be useful. Okay, I guess not. Right back over. And see if I can not fail at the lock picking. So I'm not actually sure how it works. I think the click noise means something. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, fuck. I snapped it. Oh. And this one. Oh, okay, so you just have to do them in order and get the Got right it. click sound. Okay. Ooh, what's in here? <gasps> yoink. Mm, yoink indeed. Leave it alone. Press the green button. 
What's, what's I gonna do? <laughs> Just the button, press it. Oh! Here you go, buddy. Now what? Journal update. Oh yeah, check the journal. Car keys. We gotta get off this train to do that. I need the keys to the jeep where that woman's waiting for me. I reckon they're in here somewhere. If I could find an isolated guard, I can ask where those keys are. Do we watch to talk to a guard? All right, we succeeded on the prisoner, so some guy, a prisoner by the look of him, was begging on about opening the door to the train car he was in. If I have time, I can try to find a way of opening it. Or not. The only thing I could find was a big green button. Hopefully that opened the door. It did indeed. So we want to ask a guard? It doesn't seem like the right call. Okay, we still can't do anything with this. Check your inventory. Mini grip. We found our train. A pistol grip seemed to be part of a much larger weapon. It looks like a safety button as well as a trigger. Got the empty vodka bottle. Still got our hammer, I think. Awesome. I hope so. Should we get to the next train, maybe? I don't need to go that way. I don't need to go that way. Oh, return later. Ask with the oh suppressed pistol. Ask with the ask with the knife. When did I have a knife? Did I lose a knife? Can I find a knife? Might return later. Ask this guy where the keys are. He finds yeah. something. Wonder if these guys are with those other guys. Don't want to find out. Oh, hang on. Is that a knife we can take? <gasps> yes, kitchen knife. Oh. If I had something to scoop up, I take it. A ladle. Oh, ladle. Okay, like I guess we have garbage. to ask. Not sure I need it's an oven, I suppose. Now we can use the knife though. I want to know what's up with the fridge. Doesn't matter. We know what we must do. Ask with the knife. The Australian way. Oi. <laughs> Oi. Oi. Where are the keys to the Jeeps? Yeah. Jeans? I don't Not have Jeeps. any chance. You idiot. Jeeps. <laughs> the Jeeps. Where are the keys? You want Jeep? You're going to the right. Nah, yeah. You should ask your other. And oh, he's finishing drinking tea. Oh. He will take you for a drive. Okay. Let him live. <laughs> I know I regretted uh, shooting the gal, but I feel like this guy probably deserves to have his uh, throat. Right? <laughs> Do it. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate the information. Go peacefully. At least he probably didn't feel a thing. Pretty sure he was pretty wasted. Apparently there's a tea drinker on board. Who has the keys? Ooh, can we just like take him out of his pocket maybe? He's the only one with mine now. Okay, Let's see if I can find something to put into guard this. Mug. Okay, now we can use the fridge. Add an emetic to the drink. I don't actually know what an emetic is, but I assume it's gonna make him pass out, right? Oh, oh. Bananas in the Bunny. fridge, that is just Perfect. insane. This will get him off his ass. Oh, oh, how dramatic is. Now, wakey, just wakey. gotta wake him up. Mm. I'm glad these guys are all idiots. <laughs> Fast acting. Okay, it's gonna come out of not the end dikes. Oh no, it's the end dikes. <laughs> But he's in the bathroom now, right? Oh. Okay, yeah, he did throw up. Okay. I wasn't sure what I was hearing. Jam the knife in his head. Throw him from the train. No, we need to get the keys. Shoot him with a suppressed pistol. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Literally. Sorry. <laughs> a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Confirmation of multiple REAF casualties at the previous checkpoint. Oh, at the the medic reports seeing oh, right, a man and a woman that. in the area shortly before we arrived. Don't the medic ride us out! Special <gasps> cars and keep an eye out for suspicious activity. Oh, fuck. Got it. Time yeah, to go. We need to be more ruthless. Mm -hmm. Time to go quick. Oh. <laughs> Run! Oh. Wake up, lady! Wake up, go! <gasps> And with that, dangerous. he had his first setback. Quite a painful many, one sure. at that. But the adventure was just getting started. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 that sound. Mm, some sort of Amazon? Oh, my I guess some head. Australian jungle. When's the bomb dodge you getting out of bed? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Practice not pretty fucking good. 
Huh. How, How about I crack my night? noggin and sleep in for the rest of the week? Why not make it a Those Australians, though. We could all do with a break from your whinging. Oh, good. Good. Bush Ranger Shack. Indoors. Oh, is this her? She's got her hair tied back. She's good. Making some eggs. Hey, lady. How's it going? Yeah, привет. Oh, we got lots of questions again. Sorry I shot you. That's probably how we should open. Yeah, let's start with sorry I shot you. Sorry about your shoulder. We're both alive. That is all that matters. And she's got the right attitude. Uh, what's a bomb dodger? Just before, I heard someone call me a bomb dodger. What's that supposed to mean? When the bombs fell all those years mm. ago, groups of people, nobody really knows how many, were sent to live underground or under mm. the sea, it seems. These people, your parents, grandparents, and yourself, have not suffered like the rest of us. So when they come out of hiding, they're labeled bomb dodgers. Parents? Grandparents? I was by myself the whole time. Ha ha. Maybe you get really? your head on your way to the surface. It has been 105 years, more or less. You either are a lot older than you look or very, very confused. <laughs> I guess they all didn't have some sort of stasis to make them live longer in their bunkers. Uh, you're an engineer, yeah. So, about that. I heard you're an engineer. Mm. My occupation in the RAEF before I escaped. Oh. I can fix things, or I can tear them down. This is how I help. Okay, that's pretty useful. What were you doing when we met? What were you doing the day we met? Why were you out there? I was heading south. I'd lived in the cold for too long. We have shelters all around the coast. It's better down here. Down here? Do I need to help out around here? These guys outside. Probably. Are they going to expect me to do anything? I mean, you should we are all anyway. expected to do what we are best at. You may not like it, but if you don't serve a purpose, you will be forced out. And what eventually you will end up in one of the colonies. <laughs> Life for someone like you will not be easy there. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, who's outside? Those people outside. Who are they? Bush Rangers. Officially, we are nothing more than criminals. We do what we can to survive. Sometimes it means doing things you may not be comfortable with. You should prepare yourself for this. I've already been doing that. So. Where were those soldiers? That are train yet? we were on, and all those people yesterday, they were soldiers. Who were they? They are the RAEF. Oh, they yeah. control the entire region. The entire state. At one time, they almost controlled the entire country. Oh, it's best to avoid back. them. Oh. So I am happy to join in with that effort. <laughs> how did we get here? So, I assume she how did we end up here? Way. You don't remember? No, I don't. <sighs> After you crashed the car we had just commandeered, mm. I managed to pull you out of the seat to drive. We're okay. lucky the car worked at all. They would have been searching <laughs> the area for hours. Would we went further into bushland. They could not follow. Right, I get that, but what I mean is, how did we get here? You just found this place? No, I know my way around the area. These people are my friends. Oh, I like this gal. I guess that is enough questions for now. Hey, before you go... Yeah? yeah? After you shot me, why did you take me with you? Yeah, why? I'm curious too. I guess I get to answer that. I didn't want to shoot you. You're easy on the eyes. No, I didn't want to shoot you. I mean, I did it. <laughs> I didn't even want to when I made the decision. Uh, I still don't even know why I did, but yeah, I didn't want to shoot you. I didn't want to shoot you. I just yeah. felt like it was going to be either you or me. Anyway, That's it true. just seemed like the right thing to do. I'm glad In you didn't leave me there. Wasn't. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for not holding it against me. Because if I were in her shoes, I'd still be pretty pissed. <laughs> Alright, let's look around. There's nothing in there but mattresses. Mm, old man Semenov's uh, circumventions. Blaze construction. What is this? OMS is able to bypass any digital lock, firewall, and security system in the world. Oh, interesting. Let's go find some of those. It's that uniform she was wearing when I met her. Oh, it's her uniform, yeah. Put things back where you find them. Whoever, oh, my hands are putting it right. Whoever took my knife again without putting it back, you're gonna get a swift kick up the arse. I can't cut your diners with a fucking butter knife. Return it. Not dinners. Dylan. 
Oh, we got another note. A reminder, it won't be long now. I'm off to get supplies this afternoon. We'll be back within the week. Alexandra is back early, so give her something to do. If anything happens, do your best to make it to North. Pete. Looks like these oh. guys are pretty well armed. Indeed. Hold the right mouse button to zoom. Oh, oh fancy. More oh, more lockpicks. Later. Yes, please. I have a feeling we're going to need as many of them as we can get to do. Hey, do you... Hang on, is this where we are now? <laughs> uh, Friday, June 2nd, 2073. Good news, we found out where the gunrunners are operating. We followed the whirlybird as best we could, but lost it over a mountain. We kept going in that direction until we hit something. Then, there it was. Nothing special, basically a two-story house. We'll keep an eye on them for a few days and see how it all operates. Saturday, June 10th. The plan's starting to fall into place. We picked up with the gunrunner who makes the trip every few weeks. He's a few cans short of a six-pack, but with some encouragement, he confirmed where we can find the papers. Wednesday, June 14th. More good news. Alexandra returned. We figured out the final piece of the puzzle. The path up north won't be easy. Apparently there are various regions that make travel lethal to any conventional method of transportation. Something about the terrain and noxious gases between here and there, among other things. This rover specified a town. Burka? Burtka? She pronounced it strangely. And a contact who can help with the trip. Supposedly the contact is an American who can take you in any direction for a quick buck. Interesting. Obviously not ideal, but beggars can't be choosers. We need to make it to this northern town in order to organize secure transportation to our final destination. From there, all that remains is getting inside. We should be able to follow up on the details we received yesterday to get that sorted. Destination coordinations will be sent to any other rangers who want to tag along. Alexandra also brought a stray back from her recent outing. Might as well use this as an opportunity to put him through his paces. Oh, is her name Alexandra? Is that who we met? Wait, is this today? Is she, is she Alexandra? Are we the stray? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Oh, there's no other pages. Crates and ammo, by the looks of it. It's just mm -hmm. a box. Oh, we got a calendar. Time I guess I flies can check. when you're slowly going mm. insane. So today's the 15th. Okay, so yeah, I think she is Alexandra. Cause that was June 14th. 2073. Yeah, June 14th. Time really did go faster <laughs> down there. Evidently, yes. Okay, Time to save flies when you're slowly going insane. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm in some sort of shack. Oh no, actually, let's see if we can talk to her one more time before we leave or not. A bush ranger shack. No doors. Oh. I don't think he's breathing. I assume that's an R-A-E-F. What are you doing to that kangaroo there, mate? Okay, let's go back inside. I see there's a hacking tutorial. Interesting. Let's just have one more chat with her. Maybe we got some new dialogues. How's it going? Good, everything. Yeah. No idea what that means, girl. Okay, no. We exhausted everything. Taking her a while to make those eggs. But yeah, let's go outside, I guess. There was a lot to check out out here. A lot of people. Let's check out the hat. It's a safe. I don't yeah. see any way to open it. Talk to this guy. Hey! How's it going? Pretty good, thanks, what mate. What is that? I'm Henry. You feeling all right now? Yeah, not bad. Uh, is that my rifle? Ah, yours, is it? She's a beauty, she is. I hope you don't mind, but I added a few bits and bobs. See no, I don't it? mind, as long as it still works. Of course. I haven't seen one like this before. Where'd you get it? My old man gave model. it to me. Used to belong to his old man. It's from the war. From the war, little. huh? Mind if I take it with me later? Got to do a supply run soon. Supply run? Why don't I go with Food, you? Food, water, it's medical supplies. Gun. It's for the trip up to... You know what? If you stick around, you'll find out soon enough. I don't want to give the stray too much information. He's busy keeping an eye out. I better. Oh, sorry, I'm too click happy. I wonder if this works. <laughs> Is it an nah, engine? it's fucked. Okay. I'll answer that question. Let's check out this hacking tutorial. Yeah. Uh, bypass notes. The sequence indicates what order shapes must be matched in, indicated by the color or dots. Okay. You can technically match any shapes at any time, but if you don't follow the sequence, you will be penalized for doing so. If you follow their sequence, you are given additional time. Be careful. Some devices may only give you one chance. Oh, that makes me nervous. I see we could hack this to try it. Oh, yeah. Uh... Oh! Oh, I like this. Uh, oh, this is nerve-wracking. <laughs> Did that not match? Oh. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. We might make this in time. 
Even though I have Sounds a shit memory positive. on it. It does. I think we did it right. Okay, thankfully, it was pretty forgiving. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of pressure. Hang on, there's a I tape can't there. Read it for me. Well, let's go pick up that tape first, and we'll browse what we just opened up right there. Surprised they're okay with us breaking into their safe right in front of June them. June 14, 2073. Oh. Okay, buddy. When we got here. Let's try again, shall we? Is that us? <laughs> we know almost everything about how you operate. All that's left are the coordinates and any identifying papers we can use. Or someone they're torturing. You tell me about those, and I'll leave you alone. How about it? Uh, you're... You're fucking dead. Oh, no. <sighs> I'm getting sick of playing this game. Oh, gun runner, confession. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Definitely torture. <laughs> Just stop. Nobody's gonna find you out here, mate. Give it up. Just the information, man. The papers, the ID, there's a safe. Is it the safe you just broke into? In the basement. Basement? Basement of where? Where you... Where you found me? You sure about that? Come on, please, I swear. Uh, that was pleasant. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yeah, let's check out the safe. Looks like a stack of folders. No papers, yeah. It's an invoice. Oh, an invoice from GARN head office. Bill to Terence Her Hearn? Hearn? To Oakhurst Street, Dark Forest. 12.77 millimeter ballistic syringe loaded darts. MPNE diminutionization solution, $24,000. <laughs> Warning, highly experimental, not recommended for use on conventional organic life forms, but likely to result in disfigurement or death. <laughs> Effects are irreversible, strictly for administration in cold environments, five degrees or below. Last year, weird. Looks useful. Is that it, the dart? <laughs> okay, I guess we're holding on to that for who knows Some paperwork. What? It's a gate for the car. Yeah. They must maintain that vehicle under there. Yeah. There's a car on the other side of that. But there is. Who's this guy? Hi. Good morning. Oh, like How's Australia. it going? Is You're that... the bomb dodger who was stuck underground, aren't you? Uh, yeah, <sighs> sort of. It wasn't intentional. Uh, let me ask you a question, though. What is it you guys do here? There's not much to it, really. We see something we like, and we take it. I see. And are you helping to fight the Russians? What do you mean by fight the Russians? Well, I couldn't help but notice that they're sort of uh, overrunning the place. Isn't someone out there trying to stop them? Well, it's not that simple. Never is. If we stop them, we'd lose all our border protection. Then we'd all be stuffed. We border don't protection. share love for one another, but we need them. Border protection? By the Russians? For what? What's on the other side of the border? It's bloody torture talking to you guys. There's a book around here that should explain it a lot better than I can. Oh. Yeah, right. I'll leave you to it then. Thanks. Oh, I guess there's a lot of lore to this story. It sounds like there might be competing factions in this country. An ongoing war. What's this? Did you know the ceramic pieces on a common spark plug can break tempered glass? Mm, it's true. The ceramic areas of a spark plug, also known as ninja rocks, are known to utilize the tensile stress found in tempered glass. When struck with the ninja rocks, the glass instantly shatters. This makes the ninja rocks a quick and silent alternative to other window smashing techniques. They are only known by this name because of their quiet but deadly role in burglaries and a passing resemblance to the shuriken, a throwing weapon that is traditionally associated with ninjas. That it is. I guess we're hopefully going to find a us a rag spark plug. or a towel, maybe. Doesn't matter. Never thought I'd miss seeing rocks. Uh, I don't think he's breathing. Oh, shit. Okay, I think I know how to do this now, though. Listen for the click. <laughs> Getting lucky. Left or right, left or right. Oh, I think I did it. Oh, <laughs> that was extremely lucky. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. Use is that a rocket launcher? Russian MPADs. I don't actually know what that stands for. Uh, oh, it is an AA launcher. A surface-to-air missile launcher. Never seen one like this before. Russian, maybe? Already Doesn't matter. I'm taking it. Yeah. There was a launcher in there. Look at this How's guy going? Freaking... Good morning. I guess you gotta eat. <laughs> what this guy did? Him? <laughs> he had a bad attitude. Is he dead? Don't know. Don't care either, to be honest. But he had some interesting things to say about his mates. I was told you're off to meet them. You should go and talk to Pete about it. Over there, near the fire. Okay. Will do. I think the journal belonged to Pete. I remember one of the notes was signed by Pete. Right? Wonder what he did. He's busy. I guess I know what's for dinner. Fucking weird. <laughs> do Australians actually eat kangaroo? I don't know. Probably. I'm sure someone has. G'day. G'day, okay, mate. Don't waste your breath. You won't get anything out of him. He hasn't said a word since he joined us. We're not even sure he can talk. What's he doing up there? He's the lookout. We're pretty safe this far out, but every now and then there's trouble. The law, bandits, critters. We'll know all about it soon The enough. law? I'm surprised there isn't any law and order in this... <laughs> whatever state this country is in. Uh, so we've got a makeshift a hill's saddle hoist. here. An Aussie invention. Oh. Uh, what a My hill's hoist? My clothes are already pretty dry. Okay. My clothes are already pretty dry. I don't know what that is. It's a clothesline. My clothes are already pretty dry. What was the hill's hoist? The hill's hoist. Oh. An Aussie invention. <laughs> I did not know that. I have one on my umbrella outside. I've operated many hill's hoists in my life. Never knew what they are called. <laughs> oh. Status active. Okay. Oh, it's like a radar. Oi! Smart. Don't fiddle with that. Don't worry. What is it? Just looking. We call it the shroud. Helps hide the place from any passing planes, airships, thing. and that sort of thing. From up there, everything down here looks like bushland. Mm. What happens without it? Well, we have to pack up and move around more often, which is a fucking headache. Leave it be. I will, don't worry. I promise I won't touch it and I won't break it. You can't sound a can pa a pa shrouding. You can't even anyway. <laughs> looks comfy. Yeah, I do like me a good hammock. Okay, which one he is is Pete. Probably the one standing next to the fire. Let's talk to this guy. How's first. it going there? Look who it is. <laughs> Welcome back to the land of the living. Yeah, the bone Yeah, daughter. it's nice to be back. Uh, are you in charge here? Uh, something like that. I'm Pete. This is Ned. G'day. I was G'day. told you're a bomb dodger. <laughs> yeah, so I heard. Stupid fucking name. Anyway, oh, I, like you, Pete. <laughs> I don't care where you've been or who you are. So long as you're willing to pull your weight, you're welcome to stay. Of Which course. brings me to today's activity. Alexandra gave us a pretty good idea of where your skills lie, and we'd like to put them to the test. Well, what do you need? Good attitude. Ned here is going to take you out for a drive. He'll let you know what you need to do. Do what he says, make it back in one piece, and you can call this place home. For now, anyway. Okay. If things go well, we won't be here much longer. Okay. okay, that sounds pretty fair. And before you go, here, take this. It'll help you understand the way things work. Bomb Dodger's we don't see Bible? Any of you guys anymore, so we've only got this outdated version. It's probably better than the shit they had you learning in your hidey hole. <laughs> Bomb Dodger's loop? Bible. All right then, you better be off. And remember, do exactly as he says. Yeah, of course. You make it back and we can all get to know each other some more. Let me know when you're ready. I'll take that. Oh uh, yeah, yoink. The shack. <laughs> Looks like I'm in a wooden shack. Da, da, da. I've talked to two fellows by the fence. One's called Pete, the other is Ned. The lady who brought me here, I learned her name is Alexandra. Okay. When I'm done looking around, I need to talk to Ned and head out for the day. Check your inventory. I don't know how to actually read the book. Oh, here it is. Bomb Dodger's Bible. Gets its own. <laughs> okay. This was the long book that I had heard about. Holy crap. I'm not gonna read it all right now. I might read it in the future. Maybe I'll do one chapter per video at the end. I don't know yet. But let's just flip through it a little bit. Get some look at the pictures. Reginald Kelly. Good eye, traveler. What should I say? Bomb dodger. I don't know how to do Australian accents. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will just butcher it. All right, history. So some of these chapters are kind of long. Like factions is 30 pages. Wildlife is another 30 pages. Ooh. Holy crap, there is a lot of lore. This is incredibly well made though. I am enjoying the look of this book. I don't know. 
We'll figure out what we're gonna do with it <laughs> later. But for now, um, what do we want to do? Look around and then we talk to Ned again. Okay, I can do that. Let's just look around a little bit more. Make sure we don't miss anything, which I don't think we did. We've already been pretty thorough. Let's go see if we can talk to Alexandra again, now that we know more about the uh, settlement. But I presume uh, that nothing has changed. How's it going? Privet. I wonder what Privet means. Okay, yeah, no, we got nothing new with her. No, no. Look it's there's here. nothing in there. There's, I've, there's no cobwebs. Cobwebs, yeah. Oh, another tape. I think we looked around. What does that say? Alexandra. Miss Alexandra. Oh, I've been belting that bloody thing on and off for weeks now, and I still can't get it open. Ned brought back some program he thinks might help, but none of us are keen to touch it in case we bugger it up. They mm. call it a blaze constructor. He put it on that mm. fancy gadget we came across last year. It's set up outside whenever you get back. I rigged it to the old floater battery, so you got plenty of juice. Oh, if you happen right. to crack it open, let us know what was inside. Time to save? Ooh, hang on. Back inside, there's one other thing I wanted to check. It looks like there was a gun on the wall. I assume we can't take it, but you know we gotta try. Try everything. A shotgun. Ooh. A shotgun. Yep. Yeah. It's a shotgun, all right. <laughs> I would like to take it, please. Sadly, I don't think we get the option. Maybe once we earn their trust, they'll give us a nice gun. I wonder if we still have our pistol on us. Probably. A cow. They must use it for fresh milk. That's actually a bull. Oh wait, no, it's got udders. <laughs> oh, what is this later? Found a rope. Are yeah. those? Never thought I'd miss seeing rocks. Okay, let's just look around for any more pinches we can pinch. I think we got everything we're going to get, so. They're hooks for meat. Yeah. I guess let's go talk to Ned. I'm ready to go. Uh, head out for the day. You want to head out? Yep. Ready when you are. Mm -hmm. So, you're a bomb dodger, are you? Well, you got a lot to learn. Let's start with this. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Where are the wheels? What a beauty. You might want to put that seatbelt on. Where are the wheels? Oh. <laughs> Oh, flying cars really is the future. <laughs> so, what is it you want to do with yourself now that you're free? Uh, I don't know, really. I haven't thought about it. Honestly, I spend most of my time worrying about what'll be waiting for me out here. No goals or ambitions? It'd be nice to just settle somewhere, you know? Somewhere with a lot of noise and a lot of people. How about you fellas? What are you doing with yourselves? Your little book there. Turn to the chapter on cities. <laughs> See that one? Sephora? Where people it's are free to do what they want, when they want, and without these Russian bastards breathing down our necks. <gasps> but it's a long way away. Hard to reach, and they won't just let anyone inside. Hopefully that will change after today. What do you mean? Prove that you're one of us, and I'll tell you. Oh, I will. I will. This looks gorgeous. <laughs> My goal would just be to live out here. Fuck society. Well, I'm curious about the city. Is here we are. See that house just past that windmill over there? Oh, is it a double-storied house? I want you to take this. House. Go down there, mm. go into the basement, and bring back a small red safe. Like that Shouldn't be too today. heavy. Just give us a yell when you're finished, and I'll help you bring it back. Okay, okay. and who's inside? A few shit kickers. Nobody you need to worry about. Do what you like with them. Right, and how do you know this is safe in the basement, or that this is the right place, or... Because <laughs> we beat it out of one of the drop kicks that used to live there. Now get going. It'll be yeah, dark where? soon. He snuck up as quietly as he could. Oh, hillbillies. Kill him with a handgun. Use the cricket bat? I mean, are we limited on ammo? Do we have to worry about ammo? <laughs> Locked. Jammed the screwdriver in his head. We could have got a screwdriver. Can I go back, please? <laughs> Not that I would have picked that one. That sounds gruesome. We'll use a cricket bat. Oh, actually, we probably want to be quiet. Okay, that was pretty quiet. The right through his fucking skull. Okay. Glad he didn't scream. Because that could have ended badly. How many fucking times are you gonna fucking ask? I don't fucking know. 
he probably to took off to the slapper's tent again. You know what he's like. These fellas sounded Slapper's like tent. some well-mannered individuals. Yeah. Pick up the- oh, oh, there's weapons all over the place. But yeah, shotgun, hell yeah. <laughs> hey, no, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what do you need? Uh, I bet I can help. Mm. A home-cooked meal. Must have tasted incredible after eating that canned shit day after day. <laughs> We're still gonna kill him, aren't we? The box you're looking for, it's, uh, it's through there, down the stairs. Yeah? And how do I get inside? Press Shoot the button the behind you. What Don't button? press the button behind you. <gasps> Thought you fucking had me, didn't you? <laughs> You're not so smart now. Give him some room. He's today's entertainment. I reckon I know why you're here. <laughs> Playing some mushroom roulette there. And I'll tell you what. If you win at my little game, uh, I'll let you see what's inside before I feed you to the pigs. Let the fates decide 16%. Oh. Okay, last time it said 50%, so I thought it was just going to be a toss-up between the two options, but I guess that's just, like, a wild card that has a percent chance of going really well or going really bad. Use the grenade on the wall. Okay, I don't like the 16%. I assume that's to play his little game. Potentially... Well, you know what could potentially happen there. Let's just use the fucking grenade on the wall. Huh. Oh, get out of the fucking way! What are you doing, you <laughs> mad bastard? What I must. <laughs> Oh yeah. You're right down there. Two seconds. <coughs> oh, I'll be right up. God. Well, once we get back out. to the others, we'll crack it open and see if everything's there. What is that? What's what? Shit. It's part of huh? a patrol. If it sees or catches up with us, we're done. Oh. Well, that's good, good day, big fella. What do you want to do? Oh, don't make me decide. I'm new here. I'm a freaking bomb donger, remember? Use a mounted machine gun. Shoot it down with the OMPADS. I bet you that's like guaranteed to be okay. I kind of want to use that mounted machine gun, though. That thing caught my eye the second I saw it, and <laughs> you know I wanted to try it. Let's do it. Uh, use the mounted machine drive. gun. I'll try and yeah. hit it with the gun on the back. Good idea. But don't Thank shoot you. unless it actually sees us. Oh. I'll hit strike for the bush. Fair enough. Oh, we saw us. <laughs> Don't you bloody fire! What are you waiting for? Shoot the fuck! Do it, man! There you go. Mm. I was hoping for more explosions. But you know what? It's still satisfying. I think we might get a crash. He's going down. Evacuated. And I presume that was the sound of the crash. Well, the engine shot. Literally. Mm. We're gonna have to walk it. Let's get off the road and find a place to sleep. I don't feel safe. On that very same night, Walking not too Australia. far away, some hounds were put on the scent. Mm. Mm -mm. How long ago was it taken? Roughly 24 hours ago. Mm. The evidence is probably contaminated by now. <sighs> Excuse me for asking, sir, but why are we here? Attacks and theft are common in these parts. Before I even examine the evidence, I can tell at least one person is injured. And the locals are more than capable... Enough. We don't have time for questions. Why we are here is not a concern for either of us. You are to examine the area and establish a trail for us to follow. This task has been given the highest priority. I await your report. Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay. I mean, we kind of expected that to happen. Checkpoint saved. Unknown location. Oh, right, yeah, we get to take three different perspectives. So now we get to play as this gal and hunt down our character. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but also looks like the perfect place to call it. Oh, hang on. Oh, we have orders on this character. I was going to read the first chapter of the book at the end of this video, but I think I missed my chance. And I can't even read this thing. That's all Russian. Yeah, let's check her inventory. Okay, it still has my inventory. So it's just the items collected, I get ya. Which we've definitely missed a few. 
Objectives journal. Oh, she's got a lot of objectives. Establish a trail to follow. I have been called out to a crime scene as a new recruit to the Ministry of State Security, MSS. I have been given the task of investigating the area. I should start by gathering evidence and establishing a trail to follow. Find a matching blood sample. Oh yeah, this is a... Uh way later than 73. They've probably got some pretty good forensics. <laughs> My commanding officer informed me that a Red Army Expeditionary Force, R-A-E-F, oh, that's what it stands for, train had recently been attacked by an unidentified man. During the attack, the suspect was shot in the leg and a blood sample was gathered from the area. I must see if I can find a matching sample. Determine the amount of suspects. The vehicle contains an excess amount of blood. It might be more than one person. I need to investigate that possibility. Find all relevant clues. There are more than likely multiple clues that can explain what happened here. It would impress my superior if I were to find them all. Well, we're probably not gonna find them all because I think it's been pretty clear I've missed quite a few things so far in this game. <coughs> Screwdriver. Still disappointed that we didn't get to see that option. <laughs> but yeah, we'll stop it here for now. We've got a whole new character to explore in the next one. Are you looking forward to checking out this crime scene and seeing the perspective on the other side? It should be interesting. <laughs> but yeah, that was yet another very good time in Rapella Fella. I am so very much enjoying this game. And I didn't mention the last one, but I do believe all of the art, all of the animations in this one was done by one person over six years, which is insane. They did an amazing job, at least with what we've seen so far. And I'm sure I'm going to continue to be blown away by it. And I'm also very much enjoying the script, the story of the game, all the characters, the voice actors, all phenomenal. I'm already very much looking forward to playing the next part and getting to know this character better, though I already miss our other main character. I've grown quite attached to him in the time we spent together. <laughs> but yeah, as always, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a like. If you want to see more like it, subscribe. I'm going to hope to see you in the next part. Bye!